Thank you, Bob. What I'd like today in the year 1924, Puerto Rican writer, poet, and political activist, Lola Rodriguez de Pio. She was active in the struggle for women's rights, led to the abolition of slavery, and to the independence of her native Puerto Rico. During the final years, she was here in Cuba and died in Texas. This led with the design and colors of the Puerto Rican flag, which were adopted in 1954, came from her idea of having the same flag as Cuba with the colors reversed. Her poem, Acoba, includes the phrase, Cuba and Puerto Rico are the two wings of the same bird. Lola Rodriguez de Tio died at the age of 81 on this date in 1924, 98 years ago today. On this date in the year 1945, the World Federation of Democratic Youth, the WFDY, also known as WFDY, was created. On December the 10th, 77 years ago, the World Conference of Youth, organized in London, founded the World Federation of Democratic Youth. This historic conference was convened at the initiation of the World Youth Council, which was formed during the Second World War to encourage the fight against fascism by youth of allied countries. During these days here in Havana, we're hosting more youth organizations, also members of the World Federation of Democratic Youth. Hundreds of youth leaders are taking part in activities to celebrate this 77th anniversary. The founding of the World Federation of Democratic Youth on this date, 77th anniversary. Now it's over to the editorial desk of the Commentary Viewpoint with Susanna Nieves. Susanna. Mexican President Andrés Manuel López Obrador advocated the integration of Latin America, the United States, and Canada. However, he asserted that for this to happen, U.S. policy towards the Latin American region must be changed. During his press conference on November 7th, the Mexican president stated that the dream of Simón Bolívar regarding the integration of Latin America should be pursued, but including the United States and Canada. However, he said, for this to happen, the North American country must change its relationship with Latin American nations. In his own words, economic, commercial, and political integration must be sought with respect for the sovereignty of the countries. That is Mexico's approach. That this will also mean a change in the policy above all of the United States towards Latin America and the Caribbean. According to Mexican president, the United States has given positive signals with respect to the rest of the continent and recalled that the trial of Gustavo Petro in Colombia in Luna de Ayuba in Brazil was immediately accepted. There have been positive signs, I would say, others not so positive. It is positive that the triumph of President Pedro in Colombia has been recognized without any delay. It is positive that Lula's victory has also been recognized. It is positive that they have not acted in an interfering manner in the case of Peru, he said. Lopez Obrador also pointed out as positive the resumption of relations between the United States and Venezuela and the respect shown by the United States regarding the resumption of relations between Colombia and the Venezuelan government. Their relationship with us, Mexico, is one of much respect. The Mexican president affirmed that Lula da Silva's victory in Brazil is a good indicator for the integration of our region.